here on TikTok and live on YouTube at Blackificent Media. My name is Kwabna Bibini Berima. You can call me DJ Fua. And uh, tonight, we are here, as we do all the time, to learn about relationship dynamics between men and women. The goal is to make men better and also women that will want to stay and listen to get better so that we can have better relationship among us because between education, between career, because between um, status, nothing makes men live, men and women live better and enjoy life and live longer than relationship and family. So yes, we are pro-family, but we say the truth as naked as it is. That's the difference here. Yes. So we may say something that you wanted us to maybe be politically correct about it. We want to heal people, and if you want to heal people, you don't, you don't say what will make them feel good. Because we've been listening to what makes us feel okay, what makes us feel good since Adam was a virgin. And we are not getting better. <laughs> you understand? So it's like you are sick, and you want someone to drink your medicine for you. Bro, sis, you are not going to get well. I used to weigh 100 kilos. Okay, when I realized that this is shit, this is not good, <laughs> I did 10 days straight of no cooked food. And when I realized after 10 days, I've reduced five um, kilos, and I was like, oh, this is possible. Me not eating cooked food for 10 days, do you think it was sweet? No. So if you want to, if you want to solve problems in your life, you don't go to the things that will make you sweet. The thing that will make you feel okay. But anyway, let's go to tonight's topic. We are looking at why unconditional love does not exist. And because unconditional love does not exist, and many of us have believed in this utopian idea for a long time, this thing is making us make wrong choices in relationship. It's making us have wrong perception in relationships. Okay? Um, uh, let me say big shout out to you, Mr. Basso Akwetama. You are watching us from uh, Nevada in the U.S. in San Las Vegas. Uh, you are watching us live on YouTube. You're welcome. And those of you watching us live on TikTok, you are welcome. My brother, uh, Bosbos, and uh, all the other people who have joined us, uh, Miriam Flora. Hey, Miriam. Hmm. Today. And some and phone you now are watching, so it means that the show is a show. <laughs> anyway, so let's go into it. Um, why would DJ Fuad and the man's voice make such a bold statement that unconditional love does not exist? It looks like an abomination. Okay, it really looks like an abomination. Why would I say that? But this is something that I have done two articles on. Uh, on my personal blog at wwwdj fuadblogspotcom on the internet. You can go there and read why unconditional love does not exist. I have part one and part two. So, um, to start with, what is unconditional love? According to the Urban Dictionary, unconditional love is an affection without any limitation or without conditions. So, it's an affection without any limitation or conditions. And we claim, we human beings claim, that um, some people show us love that has no conditions or attachment to it. I used to believe that. I will not sit here and lie to you. I used that at a time I had to ask someone who, ask someone who loved philosophy to go deeper into it. And I realized that does not exist and shouldn't exist. It's like the question, fighting for equality between men and women. Are men and women the same? No. Can men and women be the same? No. Should men and women be the same? No. Will men and women be for, forever be the same? No. It sounds quite disappointing. It sounds quite, quite, quite painful. But, bro, sis, you see, we make life so difficult and complicated for ourselves when something is what it is, and we want it to be something else. 
It's like you wake up and, and, and in this June, July in Ghana, it's raining and you are angry. Why? You want, you want to see a sunny day. Masa, you are going to destroy your immune system. So the, 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 the question of unconditional love is the same. As are men and women the same? The answer is big no. Why do I say unconditional love does not exist? This is a concept that started from Disney movies, sitcoms, okay? To write uh, romantic novels, to write romantic movies. And we've, 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 we've used it and even also used in Christian and, and religious circles for a long time. For example, when you go to religious circles, it is believed that Jesus and his father, um, God, showed mankind unconditional love by dying for human, hum, human beings when human beings sinned against God and his son, Jesus. So in this case, God sending his son to come and die for us, we didn't deserve it. So God showed up unconditional love. The love God showed us, we didn't pay anything in return. So that is one reason why people in religious circles, especially Christians, um, applied the term unconditional love. But maybe another day, I'll come and show you how God of the Bible or, or the, of the Quran or of ancestors has never practiced unconditional love. They don't do it. No God does that. And it is for a good reason. So I'm going to go there. Why is unconditional love not practiced by any, 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 anyone, including God? And let's come to man to man, human to human. We claim that whenever somebody does something for us, without us doing something in return or doing something before they did what they did for us, it is classified as unconditional love. Okay? And if you don't dig deeper, you'll be forced to believe and accept that unconditional love exists because somebody did something for you without you doing anything in return. Those of you on TikTok, uh, forgive me if you don't see me giving you eye contact like this one. You see me looking up like this. Um, the camera for YouTube is up above the... TikTok camera, and um, about 30 minutes or so, we'll kill the YouTube uh, stream, and then we come onto uh, you on TikTok, and then I bring some of you up so that we have conversation. If you have any question, you ask me, and uh, we, we get it like that. And the reason why we are discussing unconditional love is that I have a series. I have a series that I'm about to do both on TikTok and actually on TikTok, YouTube and, and Facebook. And before that series will be understood by both men and women, we need to clear the concept of unconditional love first so that when we go there, we have a smooth sail. So mostly when people do things to us or for us without asking us for any favor in return, without asking us to do anything for them, either in kind or in whatever, we call it unconditional love. Why? Because they show it. And on the surface, it looks good, it sounds nice, and people call it unconditional love. But tonight, we are going to break that myth. It's a myth and it's an utopian idea. Utopian idea is an uh, example of utopian idea is where we want to live in a world where maybe there will be no sickness. There will be no fight between human beings and human beings and no fight between countries and all of that. That is kind of an utopian um, idea. For example, let's use fight among human beings. That we want to, that there's something that if we do it once, Okay, so Nanaima, I'm bringing you up. Please, um, kindly um, uh, mute yourself.
What's going on here? Um, please, if you want to be uh, on the show, you, you have to be muted for a while. Uh, it's not time for discussion yet. So um, let's go through tonight's topic. If you can wait, uh, stay on and wait. When it is time, I will allow you to speak. Uh, yes. So, please. Uh, Ro, please, you can drop, okay? The, your, your music is disturbing my show, please. Okay, disconnect me, disconnect me, please. I, I, I don't know how to do that. Disconnect me. Oh, okay, let me see if I can do that. Yeah, but if you can stay on without the music, I'm okay. Yeah, forgive me, um, those of, especially those of you watching on tic, uh, YouTube. I'm, I'm new on TikTok, seriously. So sometimes when people come on and I have to even drop them, I, I find it difficult doing that. So forgive me, those of you watching on YouTube, um, I had to uh, deal with something on, on, on TikTok. Yeah, so when people do things for us or to us, uh, my brother predictor, you're welcome. Um. When people do things for us or to us and they don't expect or ask us for anything, we call it unconditional love. Because according to the condition, it's a love shown towards other people with no strings attached. But that is when you look at it on the surface. The question I want you to ask yourself is, when you do good, do you feel some way? When you do bad, do you feel some way? Yes. When you do good, you feel good about yourself. When you do bad, you feel terrible about yourself. So when somebody does you good and they don't ask you anything, they inherently get something from you by doing good to you. It makes them feel good. That is, I'm talking about when they've done good to you and nobody saw it. They themselves, they feel good about themselves. It gets even better when people saw the good a person did for you. People begin to see them as good. So when people do things for you and they don't ask something from you physically or personally, they still benefit from you. They still benefit from the good they did. So that good they did you has a condition. Just that that condition, just that that condition was not written. I remember I, we had a show with a predictor. We, the topic was the unwritten terms and conditions in relationship. Okay? So any act of human beings that goes on, even among animals, there are reward for it. The only time we can say somebody has shown good or has shown love towards somebody and there was no conditions attached to it, is when that person never benefited either positively or negatively. But there's no action that we take on this earth that there are no reward, whether good or bad. So that's why I'm using good and bad behavior or attitude as an example. When you do good, you feel good about yourself. Plus, society also rewards you 
by seeing you as a good person in society. And that's a benefit you get. Even though the person you did good to did not, you did not pay you directly, you get better. So some, some, some philosophers will tell you that people who do good to others actually benefit than the people they do good to. That's why uh, a book like the Bible says that the one who gives money to the other is a master over the, the, the one who received the money. And the one who received the money is a slave to the one who gave him or her the money. So, if we get this concept right, a lot of relationship problems will be solved. As simple as that. Because some of us go into relationship with the concept of unconditional love. So, I must get this from my wife without me doing this. Some people don't even want to hear it at all. Some people say uh, respect and submission must come automatically. No. Why? Because everything in this world depends on something. Everything in this world depends on something before it can happen. And the moment you and I begin to get this concept right, it may sound a bit awkward, but the moment you get it right, you will save yourself, yourself a lot of heartbreaks. Okay? But the truth is, sometimes we love to be in the good books of society, in the good books of friends, in the book, good books of some people. But the truth is, many people, when they do good, they want to see that the good they did has yielded a certain result. For example, a man or a woman that is paying somebody's school fees and not expecting anything from them. But you can't tell me that you paying somebody's school fees, you don't want anything from them. At the same time, you don't care if the person go to the school, even if as you are paying the school fees and you are not expecting anything from them. You want the person to go to school so that they can become somebody in future, in society. A lie? So, bro, sister, there is nothing like unconditional love. Every love, every act of mankind is based on a condition. It's based on a condition. And someone will ask, why should it be so? Yes, it is so and should be so and we should treat it so because conditions make human beings Discipline. Conditions make human beings sincere. That is why not, not even your God in the Bible, nor your God in the Quran, nor uh, our African uh, ancestral gods practice unconditional love. And when it is time, uh, I will bring you guys up. If you request, I will bring you up. And then you show me any act you give me a scenario, example of any act of human beings or God in the Bible or in the Quran. That signifies unconditional love. And I'll show you the conditions in there. Many of us have believed in this utopian uh, concept. All because we have not taken the time to research, to, to, to dig deeper, to find where the conditions are hidden. And this is making us make a lot of mistakes. Making us have a lot of heartaches, headaches. Some men, because I we speak for men here, we want to get men better. Some men go into relationship doing nothing for their woman, but expect to be respected. Expect. To receive submission from their woman. And I tell you, submission, respect in relationship does not come in a vacuum. The only time submission and respect will come in a vacuum, I want to say in a vacuum that has happened without anything, without anything uh, pushing it, is when unconditional love is real. But unconditional love does not exist. So the better you understand that everything that I want something will push it from where it is to come to me. 
Are we following? If I want to go to Kumase, I either walk and spend one month by walking, or I will take a car, which will take me like five hours. I will take a flight, which will take me like 45 hours from Accra to Kumase. It's as simple as that. And the earlier men and women understand that nothing among human beings, being in relationships, being in family, being in business, is conditionless. Everything is based on a condition. So, as I said, when you go to my blog at djfwad.blogspot.com, I've written two articles, part one and part two, or episode one, episode two. In the episode two, a lady read my blog from Kenya and wrote to me that he, uh, she had disagreed with me. Vehement unconditional love does not exist. So I was like, why do you say so? Yeah, so uh, my brother predictor, you're welcome. Very soon I'm going to come to you so that we have conversation. And if you want to also have your take on this topic, just request and I'll bring you up and uh, we have a beautiful conversation. So this woman uh, wrote an email from Kenya to me after reading part one of Why Unconditional Love Does Not Exist. And she said, listen carefully to the woman's re reply. She said she disagreed with me. Why does she disagree? She does disagree because she is a commoner. When you say a commoner, that person is not a royal. He's not from a royal family. But her boyfriend is from a royal family. And this boyfriend friend is about to give up anything royalty just because of her. Because her, the boy's family have told him that if he continues to be with this girl, he's going to, going to lose his father's inheritance. And he's not going to be the prince. And then when his, the father is no more, to become the king of his kingdom. But this boy is ready to let go all this, um, uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Royal accoutrements, anything that comes with being a royal. This boy is about, about to sacrifice it because of the love he has for this young woman. And it sounds like, wait a minute, this girl has done nothing for this, 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 this guy or this boy. But this boy is ready to sacrifice everything for this woman. And when this woman wrote me this article, it sounded so right. But as a philosopher as I, I am, I looked at her situation and I responded that on the surface, it looks like she has done nothing for this guy. So it sound a qualified to be in the framework of unconditional love. But I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint her. That is not, the boy is not showing, showing her unconditional love. One, why? It could be that this guy doesn't like something in the royal priesthood of his family. The royalty that he's in, there's something that he dislikes and he wants to escape. He doesn't want to live in that royal hood. And this girl is the vehicle. This girl is the way through which he can stop becoming the next king of the village or the kingdom. And as at this point, this guy has not told the woman why he's risking everything for this woman. So it sounds like I, the girl, have done nothing amazing, nothing important for this guy, but this guy is doing, is risking money, fame, royalty, to come and be with me, a common, a common girl. But my sister, here is the catch. The guy has so many reasons why he's doing that. Let's put anything aside. It could be. And the reason why I'm doing this topic is that when we are going into a relationship, some people think that their partner has no interest, personal interest. And that's why you're here. And I did everything for him. I did everything for her. And at the end of the day, he did it, da, 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 da. It's because you thought the person didn't have any personal interest. Or maybe you did not have any interest. So the other person who is well prepared with an interest used you. And it's not all the time that when somebody used someone, it's evil. No. 
We use each other in relationship all the time. It is service. So if me, I don't know what I want, and I bring Akosia Ama into my life, and Akosia know what she wants, and what I want is I have what she wants. And at the end of the day, I go crying. Akosia has done nothing wrong. To be frank, Akosia just knew what she want. And he saw it in me and came for it. Okay, let's go back to this woman who wrote from uh, 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 Kenya to me. So I told her in my email to her, which I actually uh, put in the article on my personal website. I told her that, look, let's put everything aside. Let's look at Lady Diana of England. Lady Diana was a, a royal, but she wanted to live a life of a commoner. And if you are not careful, you will say, oh, Lady Diana loves people. He loves the common people. Yes, she loves the common people, but she's getting rewarded for lo loving the common people. So her love for the common people is not unconditional. But because we don't think deep, we think that because she's a royal and coming down, want to live her life like the ordinary people, she's so unconditional love. It's not unconditional. She's actually doing that, and by so doing, she's getting the acceptance, special acceptance from the ordinary people than the people who are treating themselves like royalty. And that's why she was hated. The Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, did the same thing. She was, he was born into a rich family. He doesn't go out. When he's going out, he go in, out with a lot, thousands of servants. One day that he went out and saw people suffering, he decided that, no, I can't live in the palace while people are suffering like this. I want to know how people get to suffer. And that is how he left the royal uh, home and, become, and, 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 and lived with the ordinary people and finally later became a guru or prama, as the Indians say it. So this woman that is saying that her boyfriend is leaving everything from the royal palace to come and be with her is showing unconditional love. It's not unconditional love. Because if nothing at all, this guy is going to make a history that this guy, because of love, he let go of the royal inheritance and all that things that come with it to be with a woman. She, he has made a name for himself and that is a reward he got for doing that. And it was that girl that he used to make that name. So all that I'm saying is that everything in this world depends on something. So if you're going into a relationship and you go with the mentality of unconditional love, you will be the same person who will come out here and cry that somebody has used you. Somebody has duped you. Somebody has fraud defrauded you. In most cases, it might not be that a person defrauded you. It's because you did not go with reality. And that's one thing that most of us love to do. We, when we are going into a relationship, we don't want to have to, uh, to do anything to do with reality. We are going with the fairy tales, the fables, the Disney movies that we saw. 99.9% .9 of the Disney movies that you watch do not happen in real life. So, bringing it to a close for you guys on, on TikTok to, join, to, to have your say, all that I'm saying is that, one, what is the purpose of conditions? So, sometimes people think that when you show love to someone and expect something from them, it's bad. It's not bad. It's called knowing what you want. A lot of people have issues with their exes, have issues with their husbands or boyfriends or whoever, girlfriends, because... They did not take into consideration reality. They did not know what they want. But their partner knew what they want. So they got it from them. And by the time they realize that unconditional love does not exist, their partner has got what they want and maybe has left. It's nothing because you refuse to go with reality. Conditions are reality. Conditions are important. Yeah, Alabama, you're welcome. Thank you for coming. And you can request and, 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 and come up very soon. I'm going to come to you guys for us to have a conversation. 
So let's ask ourselves. Yes, some of the conditions are bad. For example, I'm taking girl, care of a girl so that I, I marry her when she completes school or when she grows up. To understand, it can be bad. Because if you do that, it may happen that you are forcing yourself onto that girl because of the money you paid in her education. So, let's understand that everything we do, everything we receive is based on condition. Finally, let me give you a last scenario and let's go uh, to you guys on TikTok. And those of you uh, watching on YouTube, if this is your first time and you love the content, just subscribe and like the video and share. Let's use a man who decided to pay a girl's school fees and told the school administration, never tell this girl I'm the one paying the school fees. The only time this man is going to let this girl know he paid the girl's school fees is when after the girl has completed school and gotten a job married. Are you listening carefully? A man is paying a girl's school fees and this man has told the school authority to not let the girl know who is paying her school fees. And this man has also vowed to himself that the only time he will call the girl and let her know he was the one who paid her school fees is the time this girl has completed school, this girl has married with her husband, living with her husband. That is the time that this man wants the girl to know who pay, paid her school fees. Does this not sound like unconditional love? Yes. It sounds perfectly like unconditional love. But let me break your heart. Let me disappoint you here. It's not unconditional love. This guy wants to do good but don't no. It's not unconditional love. Because when people begin to hear the story after the girl has completed school, find a job, and married, society is going to respect this man forever and ever. That is the reward this man got. That is the condition. The man wanted to help this girl, but didn't want those. Sexual attachment that comes with men who help girls in school. So this man kept his help away from the girl until this girl is married. Yes, I know a couple of girls who had that opportunity. But if you don't think deeper, if you don't do take critical analysis, you call it unconditional love. My dear brother, sister, unconditional love does not exist. And... You, ask your, you have to ask yourself, what is the importance of conditions in human relations? The importance of conditions is, one, to make people disciplined, to make us honest, okay? And to make us appreciative, to appreciate others. That is why even your God say, if you love me, obey my commandments. Is that un That is a big condition. If you want to go to heaven, don't follow Satan. Is that unconditional love? That is a condition. But today I will not have time to go to the, the religious side of unconditional love. Maybe we'll do a part two on why gods do not practice unconditional love. So when you understand that nothing is free in this life. So another word for why unconditional love does not exist is that nothing is free. The person who paid your school fees but didn't receive anything from you, didn't try to marry you, is being rewarded by society as a good man, a disciplined man, a gentleman. The royal who is marrying you, a poor uh, commoner. And because of that, he's not going to inherit his father. He's also going to make a name for himself. In history, forever and ever, in that family, he will be a talking point anytime they are talking about people who rejected their royal lineage because of love. So everything we do, we get compensated for it. But because people do good and they don't tell you their intentions, you think they did it with no intention. No, nobody does that. Some people just have money and one of the ways they feel good is when they are doing good. They don't need anything from you. But the good that you are feeling is more than you saying thank you. 
And to those spiritual people, they tell you that any good that you do, you get it in thousandfold. So there's nothing free. When people come into your life, they have, and as a matter of fact, as a human being, have priorities, have interests, have values, have purpose. So that when you go into any form of relationship with anyone, you get to benefit. And you don't always cry that people have used me. People uh, have used me. No, people don't use you. Most of the times, you didn't know what you want in life. You didn't know what you want. So maybe you didn't choose somebody who has what you want. That's why when you went to that relationship, you were the only one who gave and gave and gave. Okay? So if you know what you want, and you understand that, no matter what, whoever is coming into my life, whoever is going to accept to be with me, have seen something in me, that's why they are coming. What have I seen in them? And I am telling you, there are people, grown-up men and women, who lie to themselves because of lack of knowledge, that, oh, as for me, I don't want to expect anything from my partner. It's a lie. You want to sound good. You want to look good. And, and we see it all over here on TikTok, on social media, especially some of my colleague men. When they come, they, they meet you and you are saying things that women cannot stand. They have to quickly prepare themselves as if they are angels. And most of these men, they lie to women because they've seen some women don't want to hear truth. So they, they, they package themselves as being so-called wise, modernized. They go into this woman DM and because... They come to shut people like DJ Fuat down. This woman welcomes them. They get into relationship with them. They use them. And they come and sit back and cry. How did that, did that, did that happen? This man who knows that this behavior, if any woman show it towards a man, he, that woman will be rejected. But will lie to you. That, oh, as for him, he doesn't want anything from you. As for me, I mean, I'm, I'm modernized so I can cook and clean for my wife throughout the relationship. All to get you in bed. All to get you. But when after getting you, then they show you the unwritten terms and conditions in relationship. And you are like, whoa. Then you can't stand them. And then the relationship collapses. But the reason why I treated this topic of why unconditional love does not exist tonight, as I'm coming to pick, uh, let my brother uh, Predator speak, and those of you out there, just request and I'll bring you up here. The reason why I treated it is that never go into any relationship, be it work, business relationship, or intimate relationship, or marriage, with the mindset of unconditional love. It does not exist. And if you get it this way, the level of surprises, the level of heartbreaks will be minimized for you. And because of that, know what you want. Know what you don't want. So that when you're meeting people, ask yourself, what I want from this relationship? Does this girl has it? Does this man has it? Can he provide it? If you don't do that, the possibility that your partner may know what they want and they have seen what they want from you, they will come and get it and go. That is why relationships are like this. We fix into each other. You know what you want. So somebody like this cannot fit into you. Or they will do like this and only get what they want from you and leave. And most of us, we will listen to fairy tales we want to hear what is sweet all the time. We have problems, but we don't want to go through pain. There's no growth without pain. Many of us, the reason why we are struggling with relationship is that we don't want to listen to truth. As I treated last three days, some women... Instead of listening to men and hear that, oh, this is what A, B, C, D, that men want from women. 
or this man in particular, this is what he, he wants from a woman. Therefore, let me look at myself. Do I qualify? Can I, do I have that to offer that man? No. Most women these days have sat down, created what they want men to want from them. And that is where unscrupulous liars, men, package themselves. Because they want to enter into your pieto. They package themselves to let you feel and think that they actually also want the thing you have packaged for them to want. And they come after entering your pieto. They show you that, madam, no man will accept this bullshit. I love you. You are beautiful. But if you can change, if you can do this, you have a boyfriend or you have a husband. If you can't, you don't. And it's happening to a lot of us. With take me as I am mentality. With take me as I am mentality. No man or no woman is Jesus. Now, if Jesus do, do, even Jesus don't take people as they are. After taking you from your field, Jesus gives you conditions. If you love me, follow my commandments. Okay? So, um, let me go to my brother, uh, Predator, to have his say. And please, those of you on just request and um, come up here. I, I want you people to put your hard um, questions to me. Alabama has also joined. You understand? Yeah, bro, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, you've heard me ranting. Uh, what, 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 what do you have to say? All right, thank you very much for... Uh, giving me the opportunity to talk on your platform. Um, I think you can hear me. You can hear me loud and clear. Yeah. All right. Before I will say anything, I want to say this so that whoever is under the sound of my voice will not take it into any different meaning or whatever. Hmm. I'm a writer and a hmm. predictor. That's how my name is. It means in my analysis to predict the future. And that's, that's what I mean by predictor. Okay. So sometimes in an attempt of doing this, you might end up saying certain things which doesn't sound like things people want to hear. Mm. Because when you're predicting things, normally you come across a lot of things that is about to happen mm. based upon the current activities that happens around. Mm. And it will make you say certain things that people don't want to see or don't want to hear. Yes. But the fact that you don't want to hear something doesn't mean that thing might not exist or it will not come to existence. Exactly. I want to establish this. And then after saying this, I think uh, people will not take me wrong or they will not say anything that, oh, this guy is that or this guy is that. Okay. Okay. Now, let me let me get into the topic you were treating that... Um, uh, Why uh, unconditional uh, love does not exist? Unconditional love. I would want to say that that thing is a scam. Okay? Thank you. It's really a scam. I don't want to even learn it to a matter of love or whatever, but I just want to say it in this way. Whenever a human being is acting or doing something yep. without any purpose or interest, mm -hmm. that person is in a state of madness at that very point. So the moment you see yourself that you are doing something which you do not have any purpose for, any interest of and whatsoever, it means that at that point, you need to start looking for psychiatric hospital because you are getting mad. <laughs> Whatever single thing that we are doing on this earth, there is some interest. Yes. But as in how you carry the interest, some of these interests are short-term interests, some of them are long-term interests. Some of these interests are baseless interests, some of the, these interests are asset interest. Yeah. So if you are not able to calculate your interest, well, that is where someone will say, oh, I have been a fool. Which means that... Uh, predictor, he predictor. He or she was predictor. at... Uh, let me come in here. That's why in relationship, when they get their heart broken, they 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 they, they fall back to uh, uh this this group, West West Life. I can't believe I'm a fool again. <laughs> Continue. Okay, so 
that's how the whole thing is. When you want to go into a relationship, mm. definitely you need to have an interest. It is the interest that survived the relationship. Yeah. When my interest is not fully achieved, there is no way I am leaving that lady because I know I got something to complete. Yeah. The mission is imp- uh, uh, uncompleted. Mm. But when it comes to a matter of love, you know love is just a feeling that ones have within some certain period of time. Yeah, it has an expiring date. Short time, I can change the feeling. Someone somewhere can come in who has more powerful feelings than what I am having for you. Yeah. And quickly, it might change Mr. Terry, you're welcome. my focus. Mm. So, in the morning, when we have two people at Circle Accra, and one is a driver, a truck driver, and one is a passenger mm. who is trying to get to ministry. Mm-hmm. My, my, my focus as a passenger is to get into this car for the man to get me to the ministries, mm-hmm. to do whatever thing I want to go there mm-hmm. for. Mm-hmm. This very particular man is standing in a circle waiting for me to come because he wants to collect that money I am holding. Yes. That money that is in my bag mm-hmm. so that he can also use that money for something important that he needed money for. Mm. Mm. So over here, we all got purpose and importance mm-hmm. of being there. Yeah. If I, I if I do not have a specific reason of going to ministries, mm-hmm. and I give that fifty Ghana CD to that man, or that twenty Ghana CD to that man, or that hundred Ghana CD to that man, and I jump into his car, get me into a ministry, I get there and I just turn around and I decided that oh, I have nothing coming doing here, so mm. I'm go- I want to go back home. I have been full. Yes, that is non conditional love. So you are just not normal. Very good. So, <laughs> so, so when you go into relationship and you go with a certain target, and that target is baseless, or you do not have that massive whatever target, or the person you, you are going, or the person you are going to the yes, you don't have to just come around and say, "Oh, I was having unconditional." There's nothing unconditional. Hmm. Even you are coming from your parents, your your mother's womb was even with a, was was on a purpose, on an interest. Yeah, your dad wanted to be called a father. That's why he was doing that thing. Mm-hmm. Your mother wanted to have a baby. That's why she was doing that thing. Predictor, I will let you. I will come back to you to speak on. Some people also think that oh, even if I understand that unconditional love does not exist, a mother's love towards the child is unconditional. I will come back to you. To speak to that, I don't believe mothers love their their children unconditionally. They are obliged to do it. And anyway, so let me go. Let me say um, good evening and welcome to Lifestone. You're welcome. And then I come back to Alabama, Alabama to have his say. Brother, brother, good evening to everybody. Good evening, good evening. Hey, the man himself has also this, this, entered. This, this, this one is just an ambush because I was just passing by. You. I didn't come to stop. This is ambush. Don't worry. Uh, hang on, hang on a minute for me. Uh, Rabbi Moshe, Rabbi, you're welcome. So Alabama, it's your turn. Uh, let me hear what you have to say. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, mm. Men's voice. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Good night. Yeah. yeah. It's almost twelve mm-hmm. midnight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you were talking about unconditional love. That it does not exist. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that it does not exist. Yeah, it's true. I support that claim that unconditional love doesn't exist. Even um, the, the the propounder of unconditional love was God. Mm-hmm. And they claim God has unconditional love for mankind. Mm-hmm. And that's not true. It's a fallacy. Mm. Because God gives conditions for his love. Yeah. You need to worship him. Mm-hmm. You need to adore him. You need to obey his commandments and the rest. Yeah. So everything comes with conditions. Even a mother and a, and a son. Yeah. There are conditions. My myself as a father and my son. Yeah. There are conditions that my son.